Hey, what's up everyone? This is Zarina, your Upland neighbor, bringing you the floor today, July 5th in all Upland cities. Please hit that like and subscribe. And let's talk about the, well, not the floor. Let's talk about a little Upland Kingdoms. My favorite new Upland anything. So, um, Upland Kingdoms, I've actually started selling. And uh, this is just my LA snippet. I've been selling all across all cities that I'm in. Whenever I place something for coins, I'm usually able to go ahead and grab the floor. I wait to just the right time and then usually it sells. So I think selling on the coin side, while it's not Upix, it does help me stay alive in the kingdom and be able to buy from other players and use that other coin based market to supply for my own kingdom. So that's what I'm doing right now. I do think if I, you know, sold for Upix. In fact, I already have sold for Upix. I sold two things already for Upix, but I don't have the, not the ability, but I don't have like the desire right now to travel back to a dev shop. I'm trying basically right now to go ahead and just be patient and wait for Grom Brendel to open up the next um, dev shop, hopefully one coming to London soon. I did see some posting in Discord that he'd be bringing London to like, more like basically as one of the new cities that you know he's hoping to open up in. So I just want to just float around and do my thing in London. I just actually went treasure hunting today in Wensum Spark, which reminds me of why I want to stay in London. So you know, I do. Um, I'm going to hold out selling on the Upix um, side while people are definitely making some Upix, doing great deals. And you know, I'm just going to be patient and hopefully when I do get into that market uh, in a few more days. I have Actually, probably not tomorrow, but the day after, I will be flying back to get my new peasant pack cat package for Arlington because I freaking lost 19, I think, 19 peasants because I'm starving in Arlington. I'm doing so horrible there. Just barely trying to, like, you know, uh, fix this problem. <laughs> As you all know, I started in Arlington by mistake, so it's always been a little bit behind the game because I've put all my players and peasants and packages pretty much in other cities, not really in the wanting to play in Arlington as much but I'm still struggling like and I still want to keep alive so it's just kind of like you know it's a it's an upward an upward battle but I am adjusting I do have some information as far as farming I'll do a, a better chart on this hopefully tomorrow when I have some more time I know it's late already again um, won't drag you down with the details but I got a lot going on in my real life so anyways Bottom line is, with farming, there's a good 24 hour period between, you know, your fall harvest and when you basically can eat again. Um, like, any of your troops or whatever can actually eat, it seems about 24 hours, like in real life. So you're gonna plan that accordingly, and what I think is best is to basically have it where you multiply your upkeep by the four seasons that exist, and just build enough farms to always have that upkeep, that total reach every fall. That to, it gets you through all of the seasons to come right back to fall again. So you don't have to worry about running out of upkeep. That's my suggestion. All right, let's talk about the floor. <laughs> so I saw things looking like, oh, wow, that's come up a lot. Like Arlington, for example. Arlington came up like 13%, almost 19%, or almost, almost 14%. And that's like a big jump. So you can see Arlington's doing well and it is one of our kingdoms. Los Angeles, on the other hand, um, is also coming up. Not on the, not like on the other hand, but also, <laughs> um, Los Angeles is also coming up, which is good to see. We also um, can take a look and just see if you go down to Kansas City, it's going down on the up side, but it's staying pretty tight right there now, right on the dollar side. But if you go looking, um, apartment buildings are pretty expensive in uh, in Kansas, so. That's one area, if you're playing Upland Kingdoms and you want to go ahead and start building on your properties, build some apartment buildings and you can take the floor in USD probably if not being too greedy because they're pretty expensive. And if people just have spark they're sitting on, they can totally throw up some apartment buildings. So yeah, that's what I suggest. Okay everybody, happy hunting. I'll see you all in Upland.